Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable state instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that Christ has between himself and his church, which holy estate he adorned and beautified as he worked his first miracle in Canaan of Galilee, and therefore is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men. And therefore, it's not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but rather discreetly, soberly, and most importantly, in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two come now to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not be joined together in matri holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Evan and Alyssa, I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be joined together in holy matrimony, lawfully, or in accordance to God's word, that you do now confess it. <laughs> Alyssa, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Evan? Will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Amen. Heaven, you make it your wife. for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my promise to you. Alyssa, to you, to you to me. I, Alyssa, take you, Evan, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my promise to you. Can we have the rings, please? When they kiss, there's this, but the rings on it at the same time. Each of you will take the other's ring. And heaven, please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed in the name of the Father and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen, if you repeat after me, please. With this ring, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. And Father, we are honored that you are in our presence. And Father, I pray that you would overshadow Evelyn and Alyssa all the days of their life with your presence. I pray you would guide them. I pray you would undergird them. And Lord, I pray that every time this ring flashes in front of their eyes, they wouldn't necessarily re remember the dress. They wouldn't remember the atmosphere. They wouldn't even remember the crown. But Father, I pray they would remember the covenant that they are making one to another in the presence of a holy God. And Father, I pray that your favor would overshadow them all the days of their life. I pray your anointing would rest upon them. And Lord, I pray that your presence would lead them forth in the direction you want them to go. I pray they would follow you wholeheartedly. 
Lord, I ask for your perfect will to be accomplished in their life, not just your permissive will. And God, I pray you would strengthen them. And Lord, I pray they'd go stronger and stronger and stronger together. And Father, I pray that nothing or no one would ever be able to separate them all the days of their life. And we thank you, Father. We lift you up. And we ask it in Jesus' name. And amen.